There's been a lot of news circling Pullman's classic Cougar Country lately as a new location opened up in the Cub on campus. But over at the original spot, Cougar Country's drive through has been causing some traffic violations. Our reporter Ava Waynehouse has a story. Hi, we're getting this story with you guys. Music to our ears. The sweet sound of the Cougar Country cashier asking you, what will you be ordering today? It's the first place I bring my family and friends when they come to visit. But the drive through Not as popular. It's a pain. Chances are you've seen traffic back up on Grand Avenue when the drive through is filling up. Cars pull forward, but they can't fit all the way in. So half their bumper is still in the lane, like this car right here. We've been recognizing that it's become a problem. But we've also received a lot of complaints from our community that we needed to address this. Pullman PD posted this tweet telling the public they can now fine them $139 if they ignore this sign. It says no stop near standing. So if you come to your country and the drive through is full and you decide to wait here on Grand Avenue before pulling in, officers can make your meal a whole lot more expensive kind of annoying when you want to go through the drive through um, and the only way that you can go through is by blocking traffic so you either have to go around and wait and waiting can be frustrating to map this out for you literally one of the easiest ways to make a loop around is to go up the road a bit and turn around in Dismore's parking lot but that maneuver alone can take up to five minutes depending on traffic so maybe we should all take one out of Jake's book I always park and walk in and, and get it to go and all you want is your food right yes mm -hmm. All I want is my Cougar Country burger. <laughs> In Pullman, Ava Wainhouse, Murrow, News 8.